way I can keep the baby off this stuff. Oh, here it comes. Oh, 10 minutes with that thing, and that is looking pretty good already. Still needs some more smoothing. Get this one roughed in first. Ooh, there's some good stuff. Man, they came out so nice. I'll do the rest by hand, smooth it out. I went down to 150 grit. That should be sufficient. I put a coat of wax on there. I'm gonna need to do like 20 coats of wax so I can put fiberglass on there and take it off. Oh, those are strong. I put, after I got the fins on, I put one layer of fiberglass like this and then it wraps around the bottom of the, the next fin. And then, and it's pretty strong. I think I'm gonna put a little more, maybe along the front edge, and make sure it, and put a little more on the back edge there. Yeah, I wanna make sure those connections are real strong. Got the second one started. And I think this guy's basically done, except for sanding. And you know, finish, finishing. Done the fiberglass on that one, I think.
Hmm. Whenever I make little fiberglass things like this, I put my fiberglass there and I just use a stick and you know mix up the resin and just dab it on. It's not worth getting a roller or something like that messy. Just spray painted that guy. I'm gonna keep rotating it for a while so the paint doesn't run. Oh man, look at that. That came out so nice. Hope it works as nice as it looks. Ooh, good stuff. Oh yeah. All right, back to sanding. Pretty good. Good enough. Let's do it. Oh, I can't wait to get these things on the boat. This one has a few bits in the paint. I'll just sand them off with some fine sandpaper. Maybe give it a few more sprays. That one came out so nice. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna leave those to harden. Make sure the paint's totally dry before I touch them. And since waiting for paint to dry is like the most boring thing ever, I'm gonna go do something else.